Okay, we are here at Harper Archer Middle School on Career Day, and if you could, everybody could identify yourself real quick. My name is Jeanette Kelly. I'm an eighth grader at Harper Archer Middle School. Miss Goodman, eighth grade language arts teacher. Darius Jones, an eighth grade student at Harper Archer Middle School. Natasha Thomas, an eighth grade student at Harper Archer Middle School. Mike Bigger, the oldest eighth grader at Harper High. <laughs> nah, um, Mike Bigger, entertainer and member of this community. And if you could talk for just a little bit, uh, the main message that you wanted to get across to the students today about career. My message is on the board, um, and it is plot, plan, strategize, organize, and mobilize. I think that um, that as I think our children have boundless amounts of talent and energy and will and even know-how. I think that discipline and structure is the only thing that's missing from achieving just, you know, astronomical success in most people's lives. And I think that the um, the map to true success is to plot it out, to plan it, to strategize around it, to organize it, and once you have those four things accomplished, to mobilize it, to set your plan in motion. And I think that there's no better time to cultivate your life plan than the years between 12 and 16 years old. I think if you can start, you know, plotting your life out then, I think that life becomes a lot easier. So it's only my wish to see them pick what their dream is, properly plan it out, and make it happen. Could you talk a little bit about what you got, not, out, not only out of this appearance in class, but maybe some of the other people who you talked to or listened to today? I learned how to get ready for my life plan, like, because I want to become a pediatrician. I learned how to get ready for that, and with his plan, I know how to do it, and get, you know, so I'm prepared to become a pediatrician. You're in the eighth grade, and I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about how much you even think about a career right now, and maybe how this day helps a little bit in terms of thinking about it. Well, right about now, my whole focus is on my career, or um, my future goal, or whatever. So today, it helped me realize that nothing's going to come to me. Yes, by doing that, I have to work in progress as I continue. How about you? Well, like he said, it's not about tomorrow, it's about it today. You gotta like and plan, plot, plan, story drive, you gotta mobilize. You know, you gotta start planning what you wanna do. Don't just think about what I'm doing when I'm eighteen. No, you gotta like go out there and do it today. Do days like these help you think a little bit more about it than you normally would? Yeah. Were there any other speakers today who you were visited by that had an impact on you? I'm sorry. Um, That's okay. Uh, but Mike Bega gave you a pretty good yeah. idea about how to kind of set a plan into motion. Mm -hmm. Anything else he told you that was helpful? Always stay in school. Pay attention to your goals. Don't go into peer pressure because, you know, what everybody else is doing, it doesn't matter. Stick to, with, to yourself. When you look at career days, you often look at doctors and lawyers and firemen and policemen. How important is it, Harper Archer, to have a variety of speakers come in with diverse backgrounds like Mike Baker? I think it is absolutely critical because the students need to know that the opportunities are endless and that there is good there are good opportunities in, in what the rapper does, in what the T V or the radio producer does, in what the lead case manager for the Salvation Army does, and that there's worth in all of those opportunities and that they have options and that the sky is the limit and that if you end up in one place that sometimes once you have a set of skills that are built and established, it will also ultimately lead you to other things. So it's always important to have a strong background, to have yourself together in terms of what you want to do, and that there are certain things, um, being interpersonal, knowing how to speak, knowing how to read and write well and communicate effectively with people, leads to a lot of other opportunities. So I think it was great to have a variety of people here today.